I remember like it was yesterday. Found a new apartment, doing our final checks. As I'm walking the property manager back to the door, I started feeling a lot of emotion. Because typically, when you get a new apartment, there's always excitement because you're starting a new chapter in your life. However, this particular chapter, it wasn't an exciting time in my life. I knew there would be a lot of hardships to come. And as I let the property manager out, I walked back to the middle of the apartment. Of course, being a new apartment, there is absolutely nothing in the apartment. It's completely bare. And looking around the apartment, I began to become extremely flooded with emotion. I was angry. I was upset. I was sad. And above all, I felt like I was lost. See, everything leading up to this point, the months, the possibly even years to this point, I knew it was coming. I knew this day was coming. I had to essentially rebuild my life. But it didn't hit me to this point, to this exact point in which I had made that transition to a new apartment that I realized that this is ground zero. See, from this point, I'm gonna have to rebuild my life. All the things that I've I've known all the routines, everything that I've essentially known to this point has all been unwound. And I don't even know where to start. The emotion was rough. It it blinded me to, to think no more than the present moment. To think back into a lot of the past moments and what led me to this point. You know, what have I have done wrong? What could I have done better? But in doing so, I had to not just think about what has happened in the recent months, in the recent years, but I had to think about how I was going to make the future better. See, when you come from a place where you have, you feel you have everything that you've ever wanted. You feel that you've had that house, you've had the car, you've had the life that you essentially dreamed of crumble down to a bare apartment. It's hard to find excitement in that. But in some weird fashion, see, I've, I've hit rock bottom a couple times in my life. And so, in doing so, I also felt a comforting in being grounded, in realizing that possessions aren't everything, in realizing that at this point, when you hit rock bottom, this is where, you're, where people are really made. This is where you're really determined on who you are. And even though a lot of people can be scared of that, it's always looking back at rebuilding who you want to become. There's a lot of mistakes that may have been made in the past that you see now, looking back, that you can correct and make better. Things happen in the past for a reason, and it's not till we look back at those things in the past that we can connect the dots to where we are today. It was the actions that we've taken in the past that have led us to the point we are right now. Even though scary, even though it can be fearful, even though you may have never even been to this point, maybe this is the first time you've hit rock bottom. Ground zero can seem very lonely, And a lot of times we want to escape the current situation that we're in. 
but for me, again, not being rock bottom before, I knew what I was capable of. I've seen the things that I have done before. And although it's been all torn down and I'm in this bare apartment again, I know I can rebuild it even better. And at this point, even though my confidence in everything, my health, my mindset, everything has basically been slammed against the floor, I've been knocked down, I know that it's just going to take steps. I know it's just focusing on the moment, focusing on the day. That's all I had. I didn't want to look in the past anymore. I didn't want to look in the future too far. And whenever these moments come up, you take it day by day because that's all you can digest. But for me, I wanted to build this thing stronger and better than ever. I'm not as young as I used to be. Now I have more responsibility. So I have other things in the equation. I can't relax. I have to find it in myself to push forward and realize that things can get better and they will get better. And I will make sure that it does happen. Again, that's not always easy. But in knowing, it still only takes one step at a time. But where do you start? Where do you start when you have nothing? When you're starting from ground zero again? This is where it all comes down to self-care. This is where I'll start to rebuild myself, to rebuild my confidence, to rebuild my image of myself and allow myself the happiness that I deserve. So this is where it all starts with self-care.